Hey, what's up guys? It's Cytex City back with another video. This time bringing you guys a jogger belt for the iPhone 6 or Galaxy S4 or any similarly sized uh, smartphone belt from Ventry, like I said. So there's the logo itself. Now the belt physically features this nice smooth feeling silk-like material all around with an adjustable uh, clip, belt clip, as you can see here. It's adjustable via this uh, standard loop and there's the bulk, it's, uh, not bulk, the buckle itself. Now overall the silk material does seem to be sturdy and stretchy. As you can see it's quite stretchy. So I don't expect it to rip on its own unless it gets uh, stuck on something sharp. The belt features a zipper on the back as you can see here and it's very smooth, it's high quality which allows access to the phone compartment of the belt where you find the long flap. So this is the long flap um, made of the same material that's on the outside and it's very smooth on the inside, this vinyl material. So it's not gonna damage your phone at all. Now the flap is glued on one side as you can see here and it's open on the other side for your phone to be secured under the flap here. One concern I have here is that the flap might come off since it's glued on here instead of stitched. The glue might weaken over use faster than stitches. On the upside though, the flap snugly secures my Galaxy S4 here. So for demonstration, I'll put it in here uh, this way because the screen needs to be facing the plastic covering. Just like that and just close it up like that. As you can see, there's a phone. It snugly fits in here causing it to not move around too much as you can see. So this perfectly fits the Galaxy S4. I'm not sure about the iPhone 6 or the Galaxy S5, but since they advertise that those devices will fit in here, I assume that they will fit quite snugly in here. Now the belt features a clear see-through plastic covering as you can see here for your phone. The phone screen is quite responsive through the plastic covering. As you can see, I can still unlock it and open the app drawer, app drawer and do some gliding actions and I had no problems using the phone's functions fully through the plastic covering but I do have to say that the plastic covering uh, did increase some friction because the plastic increases friction more than the glass on the screen itself but uh, and it made uh, made my finger harder to glide over the screen it's kind of rough but do take into consideration that there is no product out there similar to this with the smoother plastic covering. I think this is as smooth as it gets or um, very similar to other products. So you can't really complain about that much. Besides, the plastic covering on this product seems sturdy and I don't see it ripping anytime soon. Now the headphone port that lives beside the plastic covering right here. Let me just lock the device here. So there's the um, headphone port and it is quite nice. The hole features four small flaps as you can see here. Let me just get a close-up shot of that, four flaps. That allow most headphone jacks to fit into the hole unless you have a monstrously thick headphone jack. Now the flap, four flaps really do well in terms of keeping the headphone jack in place and not move around too much. So let me just demonstrate that quickly. I have a pair of Sony headphones here uh, with the L-shaped jack. Now, I would recommend a straight jack for putting it in here because it's kind of hard to put in with a L-shaped jack. So let me just, just force it in there. And it does go through. Now I did have to take out the phone, but as you can see, I fed it through here and it's I opened the zipper up and it's here. And there's also a hole in this flap here where you feed it through, just like that and you would plug in plug in the headphone port I mean jack to the port on the phone and just put it put the phone back in just like that and you can close this up just like that and as you can see you can adjust this just like that and it's fine now nice and snug unlock play some music on here Oh, I have no music on here, but it still works fine. You know, nothing special. It wasn't too hard to feed it through the uh, jack as long as you take out the smartphone first and put the headphone jack in first and then put the smartphone in. So also the belt does come with a loop beside the belt as you can see here in case you want to attach your keys to the belt as well. Though I wouldn't recommend it because the keys will be jiggling around when you're running with the belt on. 
Now as you can see here, we also do get a loop beside the belt in case you want to attach your keys to this loop using a carabiner clip, though I wouldn't recommend it too much because the keys will be jiggling around, around when you're uh, running with this belt on your waist. But if you do want that option, it's there so it's a nice feature. Now overall, the belt's build quality does seem to be quite good, like I mentioned. Maybe except for the glue used on the flap inside the belt. Uh, although the extra room behind the flap, as you can see here, is roomy and it has a lot of, lot of room for, to, for you to put other things in your smartphone in this belt. I find the whole idea of a smartphone belt to be quite awkward, more so than a smartphone armband. If you're desperately in need of something to hold your smartphone and some other stuff while you're walking, I wouldn't recommend this for jogging because the compartment doesn't do much and I would actually recommend an armband over a belt. But if you're planning to walk or do some light exercise that doesn't require um, a lot of waist movement, I would definitely recommend this product. So that was my review of the Avantry jogger belt for the iPhone 6, Galaxy S5, Galaxy S4, and other similarly sized smartphones. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please make sure to leave a thumbs up if you did, and comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.